Hello everyone, and welcome back to Prehistoric Kingdom Early Access. In the last episode, we made these very adorable woolly rhinos. Rhinos in general are actually really cute. I don't know, something about their big face and their big nose. Just very adorable. And they're very puppy-like. I don't know. <laughs> it is so cute. It's kind of crazy. Oh, <laughs> There's a video about probably a week ago of Coyote Peterson, also someone I like to watch, and he was playing with a baby rhino. It was a baby rhino, but still enough to kill someone. They're just such nice animals. I very much hope that they don't go extinct. Well, the Celadonta are already extinct, but uh, I mean the modern rhinos, yes. It'd be a sad world if our kids didn't get to see these adorable rhinos. Oh my gosh, that's very cute. <laughs> I Not also love the hair modern texture. species. This rhinoceros sports two horns on its face. Oh. A key difference to note, however, is its unusual flattened shape. That's truly unique among its peers. Yeah, but the the texture for the hair is so good. I remember when. In the devlogs, they started to roll this out and show off their texturing, and I was blown away. Because before, it was kind of this flat texture on the body, but now it looks very three-dimensional. Oh, very cute. So this one is Unicorn. And where's the other one? I think it was taking a nap. Yeah. Carl. Now, I was told in the comments that this is a character from Ice Age, probably. But the problem is, I don't remember much about Ice Age at all. Oh, I remember there's a Baryonyx Rudy in like the fourth or third one? I think it's the fourth one? There are parts I remember, but specific details like this, I really don't. Ice Age was never a series that I watched often. I've seen it... I've seen... I think all of the movies except the latest ones. And but even then I only watch them once in a blue moon, barely ever. I don't know, I don't think they hold up quite as well as some other movies, but you know, they're still fun. Of course Sith the Sloth is classic. Everyone loves Sith the Sloth. <laughs> I did add some snow to this exhibit though. To give it a more Ice Age feel. Not Ice Age the movie feel, but Ice Age as in like the Pleistocene. Alright, never mind, moving on. So <laughs> I made this. And well, okay, I didn't make this. This was a modular prefab, but it was an Admonosaurus. I got rid of the Admonosaurus and replaced it with this woolly mammoth that somehow got tilted the wrong way. I mean, me and my friends always go to tilted, but not like this. There we go. So you walk down the bridge, and then you're greeted with this big mammoth statue. It's quite lovely, actually. And the lights are blue, you'll see that at night time, to give off that icy cold feel. But now, today we're doing the Smilodon exhibit, and I have... Excuse me, I... Okay, well I guess my Smilodons all died. So, what I want to do is I want to get a dual exhibit with Smilodon Populator from South America and then Smilodon Fatalis from North America. We want to go with this skin, because I don't really like this skin very much. It reminds me of a Rottweiler. I don't think it works <laughs> on the cat. But, you know, if you like it, you do you, I guess. Okay, let's go to the nursery. Let's make some Smilodons. Let's start with Fatalis. Oh, very nice. Very much like a clouded leopard. Okay, and this is populated, which I think is bigger. Yeah, it's bigger. Okay, I didn't think it was bigger. I knew it was bigger. I meant in-game, you know. Uh, so let's get... I don't know what their requirements are. So let's get two males. Two males? Yeah, two males and three females. 
at their populator, we're going to get hmm, yes, one male and four females. <laughs> what a Chad. And I already know what this Smilodon's name is going to be. Okay. I'm sure everyone in the comments is going to be like, oh, name it after the Walking with Beast one. And I will do that. <laughs> hmm. How do I make a good dual exhibit? Do I make another building? No, I don't want to make another building. <laughs> That's too much work. Okay. Um, rocks. Rocks are the answer. Oh, also, yes, I did change the path because, again, we've got to theme the area. Theming is everything. Ooh, but I don't like that. <laughs> Where do I put this exhibit? I have no idea. Because there's this huge empty space right here. And we should probably bring this place together. Maybe I could have something small here, but as for now, let's just worry about getting to the Smilodon. Okay. Here's the master plan. We bring this around. The fence goes around, the people walk around this area. Right. Why do I why am I doing this knowing that I'm gonna delete most of this? <laughs> but yes. The guests walk around this area. And let's call it about here it transitions between Fatalis and Populator. There we go. Excellent. So now we do this and just bring this exhibit around. And we're going to theme this. It'll be a lot of rocks, like you're in their den. So you're a guest, you're walking through, and then you go first to the Populator Cave, and then go to the Fatalis Cave. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, that is off. Ugh. Ugh. I can't I can't live with that. <laughs> That's unprofessional. Is this big enough? How big? 6,000 meters squared. That's way more than enough. Yeah, 7,000 meters squared. What does it look like from above? Alright, definitely big enough. Oh, that's a little mean. Populator gets a little too much. Here. There, there we go. Now nah, it's more even. Okay. I feel less bad about my decisions. Ugh. <laughs> if only it were at night time so I could see what I was doing. As much as I love a good day and night cycle, I should really be allowed to turn it off. And... Alright, we just need to go crazy on the rocks, but... Also get some glass in here too, because we kind of need to see them. That would defeat the whole purpose if we couldn't. Glass. No, no. Wait a minute. Undo that. Alright, new plan. <laughs> new plan, new plan. I'm gonna do what I did for the Dino Kyrus exhibit, which is just have glass all the way around. Excuse me, I'm on a place fence. Have glass all the way around, and just... Cover it with rock. That was that was a fail. <laughs> and cover it with rocks to break up the line of sight. But if it's just one giant viewpoint, then it gets boring. You need to have the audience like looking, trying to peek for the smilodons. Not too difficult, but <laughs> you know, I want to give them a bit of a challenge. The way you have to, the way you view the animals needs to be interesting as well. Get rid of that. Any more trees I don't want? No, good. Get out of here. Alright, so, go crazy on the rocks. Go crazy. Go stupid. Go crazy. Go stupid. I miss the old world of memes sometimes. Get out of here. Alright, perfect. And what color? This should also be more Ice Agey, lighter color, like that. Yeah, okay. And... all. Make that bigger, like, cool. And just chuck down a bunch of rocks in here. Give the illusion of a fence. 
Yeah, there we go. And yeah, I think I want the entire exhibit to be covered in rocks here. Uh, 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 okay. Well, this is going to take quite a while. But I don't really mind. It's for the Smilodons. It's for a good cause. Very popular animal. I'm more than happy to do it for them. Eh, get, yeah, get out of there. <laughs> I could make jokes about that, but that's the kind of joke that gets you demonetized <laughs> and then killed forever. I, I typically try to keep it P a strong PG on my channel. You know, I don't curse in real life. Um, you <laughs> might notice that about me when you meet me. You know, if you see me on the street, I'm not gonna <laughs> uh, just be a completely different person. No, I'm pretty, I'm pretty largely the same. I talk largely the same. I say get shrek all the time. I say stupid things like that all the time. <laughs> Ask anyone I know. So typically, as long if I'm just staying myself, I end up just a strong PG anyways. I'll make some inappropriate references, innuendos that the kids won't get, like you know. Pretty much every animated movie out there. <laughs> Spongebob with the soap. <laughs> uh, back in high school, I used to be part of a, a video game club. We pretty much just played Smash Bros. the whole time. <laughs> and whenever I'm playing Smash Bros, I get way too competitive. In most video games, I get way too competitive. And I just start shouting and screaming and jumping around. And just start like... Shouting Shrek, poop, dung. It's it's a sight to behold, really. I, I basically single-handedly ruined that club. <laughs> uh, it was a good time, but I had these friends who were just Smash Bros. gods, and it was insane. So they were okay. I'm not gonna say their names for the sake of anonymity, <laughs> but. They were twins, their names were Chris and Matt. Very nice people. And, man, like... They were just way too good. They would win every tournament. It was either one of them at any time. I did get to spike one of them, though. I spiked Chris off the stage, and it was the most glorious moment of my life. I didn't win. Like, he came back with a vengeance that slaughtered me. But, <laughs> but yeah. That was the only thing I did in high school, really. Because high school was boring. I just wanted to go home and sleep afterwards. I just got bored with it. But then there's these people who made their entire lives and revolved them around high school. <laughs> Which I don't understand. Because then the moment you graduate, you're stuck with no life. But also, at another Smash tournament, this one like an official Smash tournament, uh, at my local mall. They don't have them anymore, unfortunately, because it closed down when COVID struck, but... Uh, I was playing, actually, on the screens that they were streaming, so I was online, <laughs> and anyone could have seen this, but I have a habit of whenever I get a kill <laughs> to... Uh, let me just... To avoid getting demonetized, let's say I just crouch repeatedly, all right? <laughs> like if I'm playing Halo. So I killed this guy on the stream and I start crouching repeatedly. <laughs> and he wasn't like upset, but then he just came back and slaughtered me for doing that. <laughs> I didn't even mean to. It was just second nature for me to do. You get one like that. Perfect. Excellent. Oh man, save me from the nothing I've become. No, that guy destroyed me. The people there were, they were elites. They knew what they were doing. It was insane. I, I really hope the Smilodon can't just jump over all of these rocks. Which is probably something you'd expect them to do in real life. And for the Populators, let me give them a waterfall. Waterfalls are nice. Here. Um, are you big and flat? Yup. Okay, 
Let me get something flat. <laughs> no jokes. Well, that's the kind of joke I would make in real life, but not on the internet. There. That, that looks good. Let me give them a cave home. Of course, you're gonna expect them to live in a cave. I said it was cliche for the other exhibit, but... For Smilodon, it's a cliche I can't really escape. Here. Here, have your cave. Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave! With a box of scraps! I hope you could reach it. I'll just edit all- I mean, it still kind of blends in. Alright, that's fine. Uh, am I really going to go in and just change everything? Ooh, but I like this cave. That's a nice cave. I like that cave. That's a nice cave. Oh, there is no way the Smilodons can't escape from this. I'm going to hope that they can. In real life, yeah, they definitely would. They definitely would. And exit group. Alright. It looks good to me. Uh, this needs a bit more rock over there. Copy you. Now that looks good. Wait, now it's art. I'm gonna throw down a bunch of rocks over here uh, later. Let me let me just get this exhibit done. So populator. Let me just grab Francisco. That's your name for now. But I'm sure you're gonna be half tooth in a bit. Here, pause. There we go. Oh boy, that's a big kitty. More commonly known as the saber-toothed tiger, Smilodon makes for a formidable predator. Many of its fossils have been excavated in tar pits, with the most prolific site being La Brea in Los Angeles, California. More than a staggering 166,000 specimens of Smilodon have been found in these sediments alone. What may have been terrible death traps in the past make for great opportunities in the present as we bring this carnivore back to life. That was a very good one. I really enjoyed that speech, Nigel. That was a good one. And this is one of the animals that Nigel met in Prehistoric Park. Yeah, he was in South America in, what is it, episode 4, episode 5? He was in South America, and he saw the terror birds, he saw the Smilodon, uh, Toxodon, Macrokinia. It was a good episode. Probably, probably the best episode, really. Here, just add some variation to the height. I'm gonna go against the theme and make this tropical. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. That's weird. There, okay. It's looking good to me. So, he... Is this big enough for you? Alright, he's not gonna tell me. He needs water and forest, though. So let's get him some water. Um, where would it be appropriate? Here. And... Hmm. I'd rather make a grassland exhibit to kind of blend it in with the other exhibits here, but that's not an option for me. It's the illusion of choice. And he, yeah, I need some forest. Not too much, but some. Did I not? I definitely did pick the big trees. Yeah, this is looking good. Oh, it came out perfectly. <laughs> Alright, that's great. That's hot. That's hot. So, now all you need is food. Let's get you some food. And 
And I'm already gonna rename you Francisco, I'm sorry. Here, you get to be... <laughs> Half-Tooth. I know it's coming, just... There you go. <laughs> For everyone at home, name the females. Two fruit blocks. Have fun. Eat some dung beetles. There's gonna be a lot of Smilodon in here, so yes, get a lot of dung beetles. Alright, now I finished this back area here. Just added some rocks along, some trees. Now you're going through this passage and it's dark and cramped and crowded. Spooky. It'll be spooky. Alright. No more poop problems. Perfect. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, YouTube. This must be horrible for you guys. <laughs> the darkness does not go well. Did you already poop? Or is that dumb beetle? Alright, that's dumb beetle. Thank goodness. Actually, you need more plants. Let me throw some more plants in there. Does Scrublin have... Ferns? No, I want ferns. Can I get ferns from anywhere that you like? No. No, I cannot. You don't like coastal? Alright. Here. Just plants. Have some plants. This might push them slightly over the edge, but the exhibit seems empty without it. Ah, oh, I pushed them over the edge, didn't it? Just, it just did. Uh, all right, all right. Now, okay, that's perfect. You're just happy. Barely being happy is what I'm striving for. Oh. Oh, I love the Smilodon. Such an amazing animal. Half tooth. I hope you're doing well. Yes, and uh, Half Tooth is also. I gave it the populator because that is the one in Walking with Beasts. Tell because it's the South American one, it's the largest one. Oh, wow, it went for a sprint. Okay. <laughs> I like the cute little tail. Zylodons didn't have these long tails that we associate with modern cats, though. No, they had these stubby little tails. <laughs> Let me speed this up. Uh, actually, here. Have some friends. Here's your harem. <laughs> Have fun. And you're all happy. Good, good. Are the rest of you fatalists? I think... yeah. Okay. Epic. Now, if I can only get some light in here... Is it, is it becoming daytime now? Alright, we're starting to get light, so I'll slow it down. What do I want to do for Fatalis? Um, hmm. Well, let's see what they like first. Here, Fernando. Very Spanish names for the Smilodon. Put you in the cave. Oh, no. Alright. <laughs> Stay still. What do you need? Okay. You like. You do like scrolling. Despite button. the looks. Smilodon like isn't temporary. closely related to any modern cats. It's more accurately called a Macarodont. Although I wouldn't worry too much about making the distinction. Just try to keep those saber teeth away from the guests. <laughs> and good commentary from Nigel. Nigel always knows what's up. I don't know why, he just he just knows what's up. I like that they put a lot of research and thought and effort behind this. It doesn't feel like a dumb game, like a dumb dinosaur game. Like, say, the Carnivore series. <laughs> that's that's a dumb game. Um, how do I do this? Um, you can have a lake. No, 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 no. You get a moat. There, that's better. That's probably too much, so let's get rid of a lake. Oh, so that worked. Alright. Get rid of the lake, keep the moat. Good. And forests. Let's give you a lot of grassland in here. They don't mind the scrublin, so I don't have to worry about finding every scrublin tree and getting rid of it. So, let's, let's just go for these. I don't want bamboo, and I don't want these big oaks. Let's just 
happy little trees. But let's let's do this first. Just vary it up a little. Make it not boring. Oh, that's a lot. Honestly, I don't think they'd mind. Do you mind? That's still not enough, actually. <laughs> Alright, good. I like when they have those high force needs, because that means you can just get creative with it. You don't have to worry about pissing them off. There. Fatala should have a nice forest. So, are you happy? Are you happy with your life? I, I really do like this skin. This is a great skin. The Clouded Leopard. And I think the Clouded Leopard is the closest thing alive today because it's more basal than other cats. I think. I would definitely need to double check that. For this series, again, I'm not trying to be too fancy. I just want to make a real looking zoo. A believable zoo. And this is probably something you would see in a zoo. Something like this. You walk through into the depths of the cavern and see these Smilodons. Oh, that's awesome. Now, this is something I, I'm i sure I have to see in my lifetime. This will happen. Smilodons at least. Okay, let's get them in my lifetime. Dinosaurs that may be my grandkids lifetime But I'll be the cool grandpa who will live to a hundred and fifty just to see dinosaurs Well non avian dinosaurs Sorry avian dinosaurs are just I mean you're cool, but Not as cool. Oh And I think that's our thumbnail for the day. Oh love them. Are you running? Why are you running? Alright, Ignacio. What's up? Oh man, those eyes are so they're so perfectly done. I'm lagging a little. But oh, it's so perfect. Man, I, I, I don't even have words. I'm speechless for how amazing this looks. Dang. Dang, that looks great. It it feels like I'm looking at an actual living cat. That's insane. But we do have something else to do before we close out the video. We need to make this waterfall. Bring it to life. Actually, let's bring it in because I think I pushed it out a bit too much. There. So now, modular pieces, special. Let's, let's make the splashes for now. Oh, right here, have it dripping down, get that drip going like Willem the Foe. I missed our no drip Dino Kyrus. That was a good one. Gotta be one of my favorite meme builds. No drip the Dinochirus. He did have no drip, really. See, now that's cool. It doesn't look completely realistic, but it's cool. Now let's enjoy our populator for a minute. Half Tooth, how you doing? What's wrong? 91. Is it because of the poop? Do I have to clean the poop? Does that make you happy? Yes, that makes you happy. Hi, Half Tooth. This large feline could gape its mouth to impressive extents, up to 120 degrees, almost twice as much as a lion. I would love to see it in action from a safe distance. There's so much thumbnail material in this game. Oh my goodness, uh, F2. Oh man, you close your eyes. What are you doing? Oh, it's so majestic. It just, it acts like a kitty. Oh, 
Aww. And it helps for Smilodon that they have real life analogs to work with, so we know how cats look, how they move. They have, I think I saw that, yeah, that ear twitch that they do. So Smilodon has an advantage looking more realistic than, say, the dinosaurs, because we really don't have anything that looks like dinosaurs today. Oh, I'm poop. Also, I appreciate how they have the randomization of sizes, but then the colors of the skin. See, this one is darker, more saturated than the others. Claudia. I'm sure your name will get changed, because who wants to be named Claudia? I'm, so <laughs> I'm sorry any Claudia's out there, that's a joke. Man. Oh, see, they have... they, they act like kitties. <laughs> So I'm hoping as this game develops to have a lot of goofy animations for them, like rolling around, doing weird cat things, scratching, scratching trees, stuff like that. These cats are weird. Oh, hi. Amelia, see, their patterns look different. This is darker, this is more lighter. This is... Awesome. <sighs> well, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and check out my social media. See you next time.